This tutorial will teach you how to cite your resources for Biology 110. In Biology, each journal has its own citation format. The coming Biology professors have made their own standard format for Biology 110 courses. If you are preparing a bibliography for an upper level class, please discuss the format with your professor. First, let's talk about why citation is important. A citation gives credit to the sources you used and points your readers to those sources if they wish to find them. Here are three reasons to cite your sources. First, properly citing information sources helps you avoid plagiarism and is an important part of using information ethically. Second, you are in college to become a scholar. Ideas are like money in academia. You can borrow the ideas of others, but you are indebted to them and must give them credit. Third, it also adds credibility to your argument by allowing your readers to follow your citations for further information. So at this point you might ask, okay, I understand why citing is so important, but why is style so important? The answer is similar to the reason that proper spelling and punctuation are important. Consistency helps your readers figure out what you're trying to say. Now you might ask, so why are there so many formats? The answer to this question is that citation practices developed over hundreds of years within each academic discipline. Different styles reflect the different priorities of each discipline. Sciences and social sciences tend to put the year of publication just after the author's names because currency is more important to them than it usually is to the humanities and fine arts. If you are confused about what style you should use, ask your professor. While it may be confusing to learn so many styles, remember that when to cite and the process of creating a citation is the same across all styles. Now let's talk about when you need to cite. There are three ways to use other people's information in your paper. First is summarizing, the second is paraphrasing, and the third is quoting. Summarizing is a way to condense a lot of background information into a smaller amount of text in your own words. An article abstract is an example of a summary. Paraphrasing is a way to explain other people's specific ideas in your own words. When summarizing or paraphrasing, it is not enough to just change a few words from the original source. You must truly write in your own words. When you successfully summarize or paraphrase, you demonstrate a solid understanding of the material and avoid plagiarism. Quoting is a way to use the author's exact words if he or she illustrated a point particularly well. However, this is rarely done by scientists and you should avoid using it in your biology papers. Regardless of whether you paraphrase, summarize, or quote, you need to give credit to your sources of information. It is not enough to simply list the resources you used at the end of the paper. You need to note in your paper where each piece of information came from. This means you'll attach an in-text citation to each sentence that uses information from a source. General statements and common knowledge do not need to be cited. If you have multiple sentences in a row that use information from the same source, you can place one citation at the beginning or the end of those sentences. In this style, a short in-text citation will appear in parentheses this is also called a parenthetical citation. In the intro bio format, the in-text citation should include author and year. Normally, a citation for a quote would also include a page number, but scientists hardly ever quote. The in-text citation will point to a complete citation at the end of the paper. Your end of paper citation list should be labeled references. It should be arranged alphabetically by the first author's last name. It should write out all authors' names. It should use bullet points. Here is an example citation for a book chapter. Here is an example citation for a journal article. And here is an example citation of a web page.